Romsey Car Body Repair sponsors South Coast Journalism's video highlights coverage of local non-league football. To find out more about them, please visit their website at www.romseycarbodyrepairs.co.uk. Ringwood Town Football Club hosted this season's Hampshire FA Faith Cup final, which pitted Chase Kings against four-time winners A, B and C St Peter's. As usual, the full match video can be ordered as a download from the football section of our online store. Supporters at this game didn't have to wait long for the opening goal, which arrived in just 24 seconds. Striker Tom Yates nicked the ball inside the penalty area and sent it into the roof of the net to put Chase Kings ahead already. A short goal kick would then lead to a chance for Matt Griffin, but the Chase Kings number seven couldn't make the most of their second opportunity and dragged his effort wide. Before goalkeeper Andy Wade had to be alert to Ryan Lewis's shot and did well to get right down to his bottom corner and push the ball round his post. Shane Mavradaris would be called on two minutes later to keep out St Peter's first chance, managing to block with his boot to deny Cam Tinker. Whilst a Chase Kings free kick was sent closer to Ringwood Town's clubhouse than the St Peter's goal, closing out the first half. The score at the break, Chase Kings 1, A, B and C, St Peter's 0. Five minutes after the restart and Griffin had another good opening. Half the ground thought this effort had gone in, but it very narrowly cleared the crossbar and dropped behind the goal. St Peter's meanwhile were creating plenty of pressure on their opponents, but weren't creating anything of note, with Chase Kings again surviving another game of ping pong in the penalty area. Chase Kings were definitely creating the clearer chances, but were failing to take them, leaving St Peter's in the game still, with their latest shot being sent narrowly over by Lewis. A dangerously placed free kick for St Peter's allowed Jack Ransom to fire under the wall, but his shot was too close to Mavradaris. And finally, Chase Kings put away their second. Mark Shambrook reacted well to the ball bouncing into the six-yard area and smashed it in from close range. Two minutes after that and St Peter's managed to reduce the deficit again. There was another scramble inside the penalty area before the ball finally made its way to Ransom, who turned and fired from outside the box to make the score 2-1. Now playing with a little more belief, St Peter's started to try and pressure Chase Kings but Mavradavis's handling was faultless so far. But Chase Kings were still pressing forwards themselves and might have had a third goal here but Yates could only hit the side netting on the slide. Griffin's search for a goal would continue after he missed another good opening, blazing the ball well over St Peter's crossbar. But as the game moved into the final 10 minutes, St Peter's began to put a few more men into attack and slowly forced Chase Kings to defend a little more now, sitting deep and trying to hold on for the win. Long balls began to be launched into the Chase Kings penalty area, but their defence was holding firm and clearing each one to safety, limiting St Peter's to pop shots from range. And they certainly had a good appeal for a penalty as a bullet header at the back post was blocked by an outstretched arm, before Chase Kings managed to clear again. A final long ball into the box from St Peter's would arrive with an attacker, but was flagged for offside and that was the end of the final. Chase Kings had played well and had seen out the final 10 minutes, earning their title as Hampshire FA Faith Cup champions. The final score at Ringwood Town, A, B and C, St Peter's 1, Chase Kings 2.